All right, so this is test one with learning with Ma. So Mom, say hello. Hey, everybody. So I, I picked my mom because I wanted to show you guys that anyone really could learn HTML and anyone could become a developer. Mom, do you have any background in development? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. Are you excited about this? Nervous. <laughs> Nervous. Well, and I'll tell you one thing. My mom barely, in the last couple of years, just learned how to use an email. She's definitely not the target. So if we could get you to build websites, could anyone build websites, you think? Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So let's give it a try, all right? Okay, sure. All right. So let's start off, first of all, what is HTML? And that's probably the biggest question that, that we'll start off with is websites are built off of HTML pages. HTML pages are literally just text files, just as much as the emails that you send to people. And the only difference between HTML files and a real email is that the text files have information that tell the browser uh, render an image or uh, tells it make this bolder, bigger, and make this text smaller, and so on and so forth. And literally, the that's the only difference between a regular text that you would write and an HTML text. Um, and all this information is usually stored into a file, and we call that file an HTML file. Oh, um, okay. the, the literally the way you work with it, you just type text, and you just need to know how to how to bound that text. And that's one of the things, the first things we're going to learn in this course. So you you might hear people say HTML files. You might hear people say HTML. It's the same thing. It could be a .html or a .html. Have you ever seen file extensions before? You see some files have like a .doc which is a document, like a Word document, or a dot. Well, in, 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 many, in many file formats, let me just like um, scroll to like maybe a folder so we could look at it. So you can see a few videos that we got of our students that um, that completely irrelevant to this course. And you'll see that the file format is MP4. And you see a file that's AVI, and another file that's WMV. And these file formats are really just to indicate to the computer what type of information is inside of the file. An MP4 file is a video file that's formatted in a, it's basically called MPEG-4, which there's a specific codec that renders that and makes it basically playable. And the same thing is true for a, a, M, a WMV, which stands for Windows Media Video, or something like that, which basically means that Windows are the creators of the codec that makes it play. So a lot of times Mac users, when they try to run this type of file, it won't work because they don't have the right um, applications on their computer to run it. The same true is also for documents. Uh, Word documents, a lot of times you'll see a dot, um, DOC for, stand for document. Um, just like our Cliff Notes right here, we're working with, uh, uh, not with Office, but we're working with Open Office, and I have a couple of Cliff Notes about the stuff that we'll be talking about in this course. You'll see that our file format on the top is .odt, which basically stands for open blah blah blah, I don't even know what, but it's basically associated with this application, and this application knows how to open it. And literally in the same concept and the same idea, in websites, most websites, their file path behind the scenes is a .html or .htm file. So the first thing that we want to do is when we create an HTML file or an HTML page, and let me you know scan through on my computer or somewhere where I have uh, some sort of HTML file already pre-created. You know, we don't want to look at my taxes. Here, let's look at the source files from one of the courses that I've done recently for um, our site, zerotogeek.com. And in that file, you'll see you have a .html file, yeah. a .js file, and another folder. But the .html file is literally what will render on the web page. So if I would grab this HTML page and just drop it right into a browser, a web browser, you'll see that the web 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 browser will load in this project that I've, um, I teach. And by the way, if one of you want to learn how to create this, you can find that at zerotogeek.com. So basically, um, the HTML file is what opens up and builds up, and behind the scenes we're going to learn all how to create the things that's inside of it. Um, does that make sense so far? So far, we're okay. All right, so we have file formats. In the next video, what we're going to start talking about is how do you start creating your own HTML file? Um, and literally, that's going to be the next thing that we talk about. 